In this video, I am going to share with you a step by step pattern of making this infant baby sweater. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. For this project, I am using two strands of acrylic 4 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 5 mm. However, you can use your favorite yarn along with its suitable hook size. Let's begin by making a slip knot. Now make chain 7 to form the front part of a crochet sweater. Here I am making a crochet sweater with a square neck and a front open. So this chain 7 constitutes the front part of one side of the sweater. Now into the 8th chain I am going to put a stitch marker to mark the corner of the square neck. Now continuation I am going to make chain 10 to make the shoulder part of the sweater. These chains will change according to the measurement you are trying to make. This is the infant sweater and chain 10 meets the requirement exactly. Now into the chain 11 put the stitch marker to mark the second corner of the sweater. Now we are going to make the back side neck of a sweater and further I am making a chain 16 and this counts the back part of my sweater. Into the 17th stitch I am going to put a stitch marker to mark the corner of the sweater. And now that's the 17th chain and into the 17th chain I am putting the stitch marker. And now we are going to make a foundation chain in continuation to uh, get the hand part of a sweater and again for that we are making chain 10 and into the chain 11 we are going to put the last stitch marker for the last corner of the square. And now making the last front part of the sweater and further I am making chain 7 that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and now I am just arranging it in the form of a square so that you can understand what I am talking about so the, the chains in between the orange stitch markers constitutes the back or back neck and the sides are for hands and the front part as shown now I am going to start with chain 3 to form the first DC in the row 1 and now skip 4 chains from the hook and make 1 double crochet stitch into the next stitch. Continue to make double crochet stitches throughout the row until you reach the stitch marker. The first stitch marker which is in red color here. Now after reaching the stitch marker remove the stitch marker and here we are going to make the first corner stitch for the square neck remove the stitch marker and now work three double crochet stitches into the same stitch we are making an increase to form the square neck now put the stitch marker back into the middle stitch among these three double crochet stitches this again marks the corner of the square neck and we are going to repeat the same pattern for all the other three stitch markers as well. So continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the next stitch marker. Just make one stitch throughout the chain until you reach the stitch marker. Now remove the stitch marker and make three triple uh, double crochet stitches into the same stitch so that's the first one then make the second double crochet stitch into the same stitch and also the third one this again gives you the corner required for our square and now put the stitch marker back into the middle stitch and this completes the hand part now we are working at the back side part of our square sweater Again, the pattern remains the same. 
make one double crochet stitch in each and every chain until you reach the next stitch marker that means we are going to get 16 double crochet stitches at the back of the sweater in your first row excluding the corner now remove the stitch marker and again make three triple sorry three double crochet stitches into the same stitch first one two and three now put the stitch marker back into the middle stitch of all the three double crochet stitches so now this marks the third corner of the square and now I'm going to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch for the hand part until I reach the stitch marker now after reaching the stitch marker remove the stitch marker from its place and now into the same stitch we are going to make three double crochet stitches and put the stitch marker back into the middle stitch of all those three triple double crochet stitches if you do not have a stitch marker you can take the help of a safety pin or even you can use a piece of yarn to mark the stitches likewise continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the last chain of your foundation chain and if we arrange it on a flat base you can see the square shape of the sweater and this forms the first row of our sweater and this is what I'm talking about the front part the hands and the back part with a square shaped neck and now let's start making the second row for this I am going to begin with the chain 3 which we call it as a height chain or a turning chain and now turn the work now skip the first stitch and from the second stitch continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the stitch marker and now you can notice an increase in the number of stitches on the sides of uh, your sweater where the increases which we have made in the corners are going to add up to the sides now after I reach the stitch marker place I'm going to remove the stitch marker and going to make three double crochet stitches into the same stitch that is the corner of your square and this helps to retain the shape of a square throughout the project again put the stitch marker back into the middle stitch so that we will not miss the corners of our sweater anymore and now continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the next stitch marker and at this place we are going to make an increase which is three double crochet stitches again make one DCs in each and every stitch and at the corner again make increases of three double crochet stitches into the same stitch and then again make one double crochet stitch throughout the row until you reach the next stitch marker and that is the place where we have to work the corner and until you reach the end of the row continue this pattern throughout the row okay and I'm going uh, here I'm making the last double crochet stitch and this completes my second row and you can again lay the work flat to see how the sweater is going to take place take the shape of the square neck and all this is how the shape of a sweater looks like after completing two rows and now I'm going to repeat the same pattern which I have done for the second row to the third row as well making chain 3 as a height chain and now turn the work skip the first stitch from the hook and then make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row and make increases at the stitch markers places that is at the corners of your squares so it's just that we have to follow the same pattern over and over until you reach the required measurement of your sweater and now I am making the last stitch of our third row and this completes your third row now again I am making chain 3 to begin the fourth row and before that I am just going to check 
if it fits my requirement or not so i'm just laying it flat and i'm going to take the measurement from shoulder to shoulder and we'll check if it suits the infant size or not just lay it flat and sink the corners of the square that means one stitch marker should be above the other stitch marker and now take your measuring tape and measure across shoulder to shoulder and here the work has got 9 inches and the armhole depth of 2.5 inches and the waist measurement of 6 inches I guess almost 7 inches which almost fits the infant size I mean the just born size now here is where I'm going to take the partition between the body part and among the hands so for that what I'm going to do is turn your work and continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the first stitch marker just make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch and now when you reach the stitch marker you'll gently remove the stitch marker from its place and we are going to work two double crochet stitches into the same stitch so instead of three we are making only two so remove the stitch marker make two double crochet stitches into the same stitch here making two double crochet stitches into the corners will add up a little bit more number of stitches to the body so that uh, the sweater will not be complete exact fit kind of thing it will give you some room for your for the air and now skip all the stitches in between this first stitch marker and the second stitch marker and now remove the second stitch marker and make two double crochet stitches into the same stitch then continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the third stitch marker now remove the third stitch marker and make two double crochet stitches into the same stitch we are going to skip the next few stitches until the next stitch marker comes which constitutes the hand of our project now remove that stitch marker and now into that stitch insert your needle and make two double crochet stitches into the same stitch now let's continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the end of the row that means one stitch in each and every stitch here you can notice how the hands got separated from the body of our sweater continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch till the end of this row now that i have completed four rows and now i'm going to here I am making the last double crochet stitch and this completes my 4 rows and here is now where I am going to change the color and before that let me show you how the sweater has taken the shape this is it's up to you how you wanted to design your sweater you can continue with the same color or you can change the stitch or you when you can change the colors to make it look like a multicolored sweater here i'm just demonstrating you how to change the color and then uh, give out a new look to your boring sweater which could be a single color however you can even change the look of your sweater using a single color by adding a, some appliques to it here I am grabbing the new thread through the old, old yarn and now tighten the previous loop just to secure the join. Now make chain 2 as a height chain as chain 3 is giving me a hole or a gap while working and uh, I shifted to make chain 2 and now I am including the tail ends while working the next row which will reduce my work of weaving in the ends at the last. Just include the tail ends while you are working across the stitches. 
Now, without any increases, without any pattern changes, I am just going to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row. And after weaving in few, uh, weaving in these threads for few more stitches, I am just going to trim those excess threads. See now the ends are beautifully secured within the work. We can just trim those threads close to the work. And then continue to make one double crochet stitch throughout the row. And this gives my fifth row. Likewise, you can change the colors periodically or according to your wish. Now I am making the last double crochet stitch of the fifth row. And now again I am going back to the previous color which gives a striped look to my sweater. Just grab the new thread through the previous loop and now fasten the loop to make the secure join. See this is the reason why I have shifted from chain 3 to chain 2. You can see the holes formed by making chain 3 and to avoid that further I have just made chain 2. And now I am going to include the new tail ends along with the uh, previous tail ends across the work and then I am continuing to work with the double crochet stitches throughout the row. Here we don't have to make any kind of increases, just continue to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row and continue the similar pattern of even if you wish to change colors it's up to you if you want to change colors or not and here I am alternatively changing colors after starting the waist and body part of the sweater. Uh, continue to work one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch for the next few more rows until you reach the height of your required sweater length. And now after making few more rows, I am going to check the length of the sweater and decide whether if it fits the baby or not. So for my work, as of this row, I have got 8.5 to 9 inches of measurement and if it is for another one or one and a half inch it would be a good fit for the baby so i'm just planning on to make another two more rows and for this two rows i'm going to make a little pattern over here using a alternative front post and the back post double crochet stitches and let me show you how it is done so for the next row i'm going to begin with chain two as a height chain and the first stitch now turn the work now put the needle from the front part of the stitch as shown we are going to leave that first stitch and now for the second stitch we are putting the needle from the front to the back of the double crochet stitch and then drop a loop to make a double crochet stitch and now for the next stitch insert the needle behind the stitch so here I am making one front post and one back post stitch. For the front post stitch, needle has to be inserted from the front. And for the back post, needle have to be inserted from behind the stitch. And likewise, continue to make all the stitches to and fro, I mean uh, the front post and back post alternatively until you reach the other end of the sweater. This alternating of front post and back post gives a nice texture of ridges pattern and it also gives a nice stretch to the sweater at the edges. And I am going to use the same pattern at the edge of the hands as well which is not covered in the video. Here you can see the pillars formed by making the front post and the back post. Those are the nice ridges pattern which gives the nice elasticity to your project. Now let's continue to make front post and back post throughout the row until you reach the last stitch. Now here I am making the last front post stitch and then make one double crochet stitch on to the second chain of the previous height chain. We are just making chain 2 at the first stitch and a normal double crochet stitch as a last stitch. So make chain 2 and turn your work and let's continue to make the last row. Here 
the previous row front post will become back post for this row so as we have done the back post in the previous row for that particular stage we are doing the front post to get the rich continuation okay the rich pattern here which is formed by making the front post will be continued by making a back post double crochet stitch in the next row or you can even take the previous ridge reference if you see the ridge at the front then make a ridge at the same front post and if you see the ridge at the back continue to make the ridges for the back post it's simpler that way now make continue to make the uh, double crochet stitches throughout the row with an alternate of front post and back post and now after reaching the ending of the row make the last double crochet stitch and this is how the shape of the sweater and the edges looks like after completing two rows and as we have a little stretch kind of thingy at the last it gives you a little squeeze for the stitches just adjust the stitches by pulling them apart and this constitutes the sweater part of the body and here i am going to add a border for the front part where we can sew the buttons or you can even add a zipper to your sweater now instead of trimming the excess thread and weaving in i am just continuing with the same thread to add the border on the sides of the i mean the sweater at the front open i've just made chain 2 as a height chain and now across the chain 2 gaps and across the double crochet stitches i'm going to make two double crochet stitches in each and every gap so here i'm making two double crochet stitches into the same gap and then next two double crochet stitches goes into the chain 2 space this chain 2 is nothing but a height chain which we have done while working on the length of the sweater again a two double crochet stitches over the next dc and then two double crochet stitches over the next chain two alternatively until you reach the top of your sweater continue this pattern here is where you can experiment on different kinds of stitches you can even use a single crochet or half double crochet stitches depending on your requirement and now after reaching the ending This is how the border looks like. Now make chain one and trim the excess thread, and these threads you can weave in by the at the end of your project. Now this is fasten off, and this will secure your work. Now we are going to repeat the same pattern on the other side of the sweater as well. I'm going to insert my needle across the first stitch of the sweater, and now bring out the thread, and I'm including the tail ends. at the beginning itself so that i don't have to weave in all the tail ends at the last so after making chain 2 i'm making two double crochet stitches into that first stitch gap and then continue to make two double crochet stitches across the double crochet stitch and across the chain 2 gap as we have done on the front side now we are going to repeat the same pattern on the other side as well Now after reaching the end again make chain 1 and trim the excess threads and this completes the waist part of our sweater. Now let ha let's have a small look at it how it has turned out. Isn't it cute? And here is where we are going to attach the buttons to the sweater or even if you want you can add a zipper to it or you can even add a thread to it. And now let's add the sleeves to the sweater. here i am planning on making a full sleeve sweater so i am going to insert the needle at the center part of the hand where we have a joint in between the arm holes you can insert there or you can insert at the middle stitch as well so insert the needle as shown and grab the thread make chain 2 and now we are going to make two double crochet stitches across the uh, double crochet stitch of the next row as shown in the video and and again i am including all the tail ends while working now we have reached the start part where we have left the stitches for the arm hole 
and now we are going to make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the next double crochet part just one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch while including your tail ends once we have reached the double crochet stitch part I will show you how it has to be done so now here is the part where we have to do double crochet stitches across a double crochet stitch and into that particular gap make two double crochet stitches and now skip the chain 2 part and make a slip stitch over the first double crochet stitch here is where I am reducing the arm length by one stitch by skipping the chain 2 and making a slip stitch over the double crochet stitch and this part forms the sleeve of our sweater and now I am going to continue the pattern which we have done for the body part of the sweater and I am replicating the same pattern for the hands as well again here is where I am going to change the color of the next row to pink and then continue to alternate the colors with the base color and the other pastel colors so again I am taking two strands of the pink color and pulling it out through the previous loop now tightening it and making chain 2 now include the tail end while working here I am not including this cream color because I have to alternate the color for the next row and instead of trimming the thread here and again attaching it for the next row instead of that I am just going to carry out the thread through the second row which is the much more easier and effective way now after making one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point and this completes your second row for your sleeve after completing all the double crochet stitches I am going to make a slip stitch into the second chain which we have done as a height chain I am inserting it into the top loop and make a slip stitch and here is where I am going to grab the previous color that is the cream color and again pulling the loop through the previous loop and now securing the join and make chain 2 and now let's continue to work with this cream color and here I am trimming this pink color thread as I am no more using it in the project for this hand and I will be using it for the other hand while working for the other sleeve so again I am making chain 2 and continue to make uh, double crochet stitches throughout the row likewise we are going to add rows until you reach the sleeve length and then I am going to add a border to it just like which I have added a border for the body that's the front post and back post and continue this pattern for the other sleeve as well and this completes your sweater I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below see you all in the next video thank you for watching please like the video share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.